Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Then we add <gasps> to Eurovision. And today I'm going to react to the second semi-final of the Eurovision 2021 Song Contest. Who qualified? Who didn't qualify? And I will discuss some of the reasons behind that. If you are new here, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and ding that notification bell if you want to get notified the next time I upload one of these videos. If you want to support this channel further, there is a link to buymeacoffee.com slash bencristina in the description below. Feel free to buy me a coffee and make my day! This video is slightly different to the videos you are used to from my end, because it looks like the EBU is up my So in order to avoid another blocking of one of my videos, I will not be sharing video footage of the actual competition this time. So without further ado, let's dive into it. Let's do this. In my prediction video for the second semi-final, you can find a link up here, I discussed what countries I predict to go through to the grand final. And I got 7 out of 10 right. There were a few good surprises, but also a few very bad surprises. The countries I guessed right are San Marino, Greece, Moldova, Iceland, Bulgaria, Finland and Switzerland. Let's talk about San Marino first. Vocally, for her experience, I expected much better. It wasn't as disastrous as other participants in this semi-final, but there is definitely room for improvement. From a staging perspective, I had a feeling that in the beginning of the performance she got a bit lost in the midst of her background dances, but that resolved over the duration of the performance. When finally Florida entered the stage, it gave it a bit of an edge and it took it to the next level. So San Marina, overall a well-deserved spot in the finals, congratulations. Next up, Greece. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of Stefania's timber of her vocals, I have to say that vocally she was on point. The staging showed a very interesting green screen effect, which must have looked really awkward for the people in the actual audience, but for us viewers at home it made it more interesting to watch. So overall, a well-deserved spot in the grand final, congratulations. Moving on to Moldova. I understand that the entry Moldova put forward this year is one of the best they had in quite some time. Having said that, that doesn't mean that they necessarily deserved a spot in the grand final. Vocally, Natalia was quite weak and she was off key nearly all the time. And since vocals should matter in this competition, I do not understand why she went through. From a staging perspective, I was a bit disappointed after watching that colorful music video and the dance performance overall was actually quite underwhelming. During the press conference, she bragged about how she held the longest note of the Eurovision 2021 song contest. Yeah, honey, next time please also know how to hold the pitch or at least know when to shut up. Moldova, in my opinion, did not deserve to go through to the grand final on its own merits. Having said that, Moldova can be lucky that the semi-final two in general had a lower bar. Moving on to Iceland. My goodness, these guys do not get a break. As some of you might have noticed, Iceland did not actually perform live on stage during the second semi-final, as at least one of the performers has been tested positive for COVID-19. So we could only enjoy watching one of the rehearsals. But oh boy, for a rehearsal, spot on. Vocally, Darthi and anybody else were on point. You really could feel how well prepared they were going into this competition. The staging was incredibly creative. The dance is still absolutely amazing. What blew me away was that keyboard solo performance where everybody was standing in circles. That was just brilliant. And in my opinion, the graphics from the beginning to the end of this performance were the best of the night. So I really would have loved to see them performing in front of the audience. But I'm very happy that they qualified and that we can see something again in the grand final. Whether or not it's gonna be a real life performance or another replay of the rehearsal, we have to wait and see. Next up, Serbia. I have to say I was extremely surprised that this entry made it through to the finals. Not just because it's personally not my style of music, there are other reasons why I did not see this entry progress at all. After re-watching that performance I noticed one thing. The background vocalists, so not the ones you can see on stage, the one who stand backstage, are carrying the whole song. 
Of the three women on stage, most of the time, only one was singing together with the background vocalists. And that sounded quite strong. But when the three performers were singing together, you could actually hear that they don't go well together. So basically what you were watching, one of them is singing, two of them are dancing, background singers are taking care of the rest. When I'm thinking about staging, the whole thing looked dated to me. It was like watching a performance from 10 years ago. But it's not just the performance, also the song is dated. Remember Fuego? How long ago was that? My overall impression? One positive thing I have to give them, there was a lot of energy on stage. And maybe that's what helped them to actually qualify to the grand final. So even though I don't understand it, Serbia, congratulations. Next on the list, Albania. Initially, I didn't think that Albania will make it through to the final. But after watching Angela's performance, I definitely changed my mind. Vocally, she is extremely strong and she was on point most of the time. The staging itself was quite simple, but you know what? It worked and she owned the stage. This is how stage presence should look like. And her stage presence helped the song. So overall, a very well-deserved spot in the grand final. Albania, congratulations. Now, let's talk about Portugal. In my initial reaction video, which you can find up here, I wasn't 100% sure in which direction Portugal would develop. Mainly, I wasn't sure about the voice, since partially the voice for me became a bit annoying. But during this performance, none of that. Vocally, he was on point. From a staging perspective, I liked how they opened the show in the good old 4x3 format. So maybe they got Zack Snyder involved in the whole thing and that they continued having stunning graphics throughout the whole song. The little detail of the orchestra constantly playing in the background, together with that walking down the street part, was visually outstanding. So overall, Portugal. For me, this was the biggest surprise of the night. Absolutely unexpected and I'm happy to say welcome to the finals. Moving on to Bulgaria. As expected, this was a very solid performance. Vocally, she was on point most of the time, but sometimes I had a feeling that she was clashing a bit with the background singers. Personally, I think she doesn't even need background singers. She can handle this all by herself. The staging, yeah, was quite interesting, even though the falling sand, which everybody was talking about, got a bit lost. And I had a feeling that the timing wasn't 100% right when she moved her hand towards the falling sand. But overall, a well-deserved spot in the final. Congratulations. Now, let's talk about Finland. That announcement was a real nail-biter last night. But even the audience agreed that Finland deserved its spot in the final. Vocally, they were on point for the genre and one could feel the actual experience they have as a band. With regards to the staging, I guess somebody just asked them, how much pyrotechnics do you want? Yes, because there was fire, fire, fire and even more fire. So it looked like a very traditional heavy metal stage, but elevated for television. From a performance point in general, I can just say one word, energy. And that energy is what put them through to the final. So Finland, rock on, see you in the finals. And last but not least, Switzerland. Vocally, I think he just trashed everybody else. He was on point from the beginning to the end. From a staging perspective though, I have to say I was a bit disappointed because I couldn't really make the connection of what I was watching and what the song was about. So if somebody wants to explain to me what that staging actually means, please drop a comment in the comment section below. But apart from that, there was no question, Switzerland, welcome to the finals. Now, let's talk about the three entries I actually saw in the finals but who didn't qualify. First up, Austria. Vocally, Vincent was on point. He delivered a very emotional performance on a very simple and intimate stage. Maybe it was too simple, maybe after a whole year of people dying of Covid, singing about death wasn't the best strategy, but in my opinion Austria should have gone through to the finals. Next up, Latvia. This was just a disaster from the beginning to the end. First of all, she was off-key throughout the whole song. I think if you want to count the notes she actually hit, one hand is enough. From a staging perspective, it was surprisingly boring. The green outfits they were wearing made them vanish in the background graphics. So somebody needs to learn about the basic rules of contrast. 
and the reaction of the audience actually said it all. So overall, Latvia, this was not good enough. And I expected more. And finally, I personally hoped to see Denmark in the finals, but I guess it was a bit too 80s for everybody involved. So I'm sad that Denmark didn't qualify, but you know what, it's okay. They did their best and delivered us a fun show. Once again, to all the countries who qualified for the grand final, congratulations for every country who didn't qualify, better luck next year, wishing you all the best. But now it's time to let me know what you think. Please drop your comments in the comment section below. Give this video a like if you liked it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and ding that notification bell if you want to get notified the next time I upload one of these videos. If you want to support this channel further, please buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com slash bencristina. There is a link in the description box below. I would really appreciate your support and I'm really looking forward to seeing you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Ben, <gasps> to your vision.